This is how you sell more merchandise every month of the year. Hey, it's John here at Hypedit. I run one of the largest music promotion platforms in the world called Hypedit, where I have helped tens of thousands of music artists reach millions of listeners, fans, and streams for their music. And when it comes to making money as a music artist, I love merch sales. With streaming royalties, I'm looking at fractions of pennies when my fans stream my music. But when they purchase my merchandise, and I'm talking about simple things like print-on-demand t-shirts, I often make 10, 15, or 20 dollars from a single purchase. This adds up and it can literally fund my music promotion. In fact, I recently posted a video where I break down my entire merch sales, how much money I'm making, how I'm making it. So if this is something you're interested in, let me leave a link above. But in this video, I wanna give you something else. I wanna give you a merch sales calendar that will allow you to make more money from merch sales from your fans every month of the year. So let me take you over to my screen and jump right in. I wanna start out in MailChimp to show you how easy it is to make an offer for merch sales to your fans. Cause literally all I do in this case is send a simple email like this one that I have open on my screen here. I just say, it's that time of the year again where we all get to save some money on some amazing stuff in honor of Black Friday I give away all t-shirts for house music fans in my store for 50% off. So head over there now and pick up a shirt or two for yourself and your friends. And then you see I inserted a timer here and a GIF file that I made with previews of my t-shirts. And then I close it out with my footer here. So really, this is it. And let me share real quick why I think this works so well. First of all, it starts with a subject line that is very descriptive, 50% off on all house music t-shirts. So if you like house music and you like t-shirts and you can see you're getting them for half price right now, you open that email. And if you're not into t-shirts or not into house music, you will skip over that email and that's perfectly fine. I'd rather have this email only be opened and time only dedicated by those fans who have an interest in what I have to offer. I like this much better than using some clickbaity headline where everybody opens it and then the audience that doesn't really want this offer here is disappointed. They put time into something they didn't like and then they're more likely to unsubscribe. So I put it right in the subject line. This is an offer. If you want it, take it. If you don't, just move on. Second, the discount is material. This is not a 5% off. This is not a 20% off. No, this is a 50% off. And that's important because that makes it more enticing. And that's something people really notice. Now, the third element that makes this work well for me might not be as obvious. And it's this one. I'm giving a reason for a discount. The email says, in honor of Black Friday. So I'm using a well-known sales event or holiday that is often associated with discounts and I deliver on that very expectation. And that does something really interesting. It makes your offer more appealing. If you go out on a random day of the year and you offer 50% off for something like that, it makes someone question, you know, why is he doing this? Is he sitting on a stack of shirts he can't get rid of? Which means these are really unpopular and nobody wanted to have them. Or did he make something that's of low quality and so he just has to get rid of it? It's kind of weird but if something is too good to be true and you're not giving your audience a reason why you make them an offer that's almost too good to be true, they doubt that it's really a good offer. So giving them a reason why you're making the offer is actually really important for the success of this. And so what I wanna do with the rest of this video here is I wanna share 12 reasons with you that you can make an offer to your fans at least once a month so that you can sell a lot more merch and make a lot more money from it. And so to do it, I'm gonna come over here to my merge sales calendar. I'm gonna walk you through the year and then I have a little bonus tip here for you at the end. All right, let's kick it off in January here. So in January, New Year sale is a great idea. Everybody understands why you would do New Year sale in order to celebrate the new year. Come February, you can do a Valentine's Day sale. Also something everybody understands, lots of businesses do Valentine's Day sales. March, St. Patrick's Day sale. April, Easter sale. May, Memorial Day sale or a Mother's Day sale or a spring sale. So giving you a couple options here, because if you're in the US, a Memorial Day sale is something that's very popular. But if you're outside of the US, maybe a Mother's Day sale or a spring sale would work just as well. June, summer kickoff sale. July, Independence Day sale, or also referred to as 4th of July sale. August, you can do a summer sale or a back to school sale. And back to school sales are extremely popular. Obviously depends a little bit on the age of the audience that you're targeting. September, we have a Labor Day sale. October, 
very popular a halloween sale november probably the biggest sales event in the entire year the black friday sale or the cyber monday sale and i've seen this from my own numbers when i do sales throughout the year the sale on black friday and cyber monday always is the biggest of the year so i love those and then december of course holiday sale or christmas sale so these are 12 easy reasons and events to do a sale with your fans using the simple email format i shared with you earlier but i mentioned i have a bonus tip for you which is here and this is something that not only has it gotten me a bunch of sales but also lots of engagement with fans actually replying to my emails and it's this one here it is add a sale for your birthday month if you send your fans an email and say, hey, it's my birthday, and to celebrate my birthday, I'm doing a 50% off sale, for example, your fans will love it. They feel a personal connection. Lots of them will reply to you, wish you a happy birthday. And those who want to support you or love your merch are going to take you up on the offer. So now I'm going to leave this up here. Take a screenshot of this so you have it handy for when you want to put out your next sales campaign. Now, one quick and important comment here. When you make fans an offer for your merch every month of the year, you train them to expect that there's another sale just around the corner. And that means fans may actually wait for your next sale before purchasing a merch item. And so ultimately, you sell a lot more merch at your discounted price as opposed to the regular price. I'm pointing this out because it's very important that you price your merchandise in such a way that even at the discounted price, you are profitable. You don't just want to break even, you want to make sure you have some profit dollars built into your discounted price. Now, how you price your merchandise depends on which part of the world you're in, where your fans are who order merchandise, so you have to ship it to them, and the way you fulfill on those orders. Now, what I can share is that I'm in the US, I'm getting most of my orders from the US, from the UK, from Spain, and from Germany. And to deliver on these orders, I use a company called Printful. It's a print-on-demand service, so I don't have any inventory of t-shirts. I don't have boxes stacked in my garage. Whenever somebody orders on my Shopify store, that order gets automatically sent to Printful, and Printful takes a blank t-shirt, prints my graphics on it, and then ships it to the consumer. I don't see it, I don't touch it, but the difference between what the fan paid and what I'm paying Printful in order to make and then ship the t-shirt, that difference gets deposited to my bank account. And so what works for me is to price my t-shirts at $40 at regular price and at $20 for the 50% off deal. And then depending on where in the world the shirts get shipped, I add shipping fees on top of that. So in the US, shipping fees may be as low as three to four bucks, but in Europe, they may be between five and 10. And so between the price of the t-shirt and the shipping charges, there's enough margin there so that I actually do make a profit even when I sell the t-shirt at a discounted price. And the best possible event, of course, is when a fan loves multiple designs and places an order with two or even three t-shirts. Because then a single transaction can easily net 10, 15, 20, or even more dollars that I get to keep. So again, make sure you don't price your merchandise too low. You wanna make sure that there's always some profit margin left for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to hit the like, the subscribe and the bell icon below to get more videos like this on YouTube about how to grow more listeners, streams and fans and income for your music. And if you wanna learn more about how I have literally made thousands and thousands of dollars selling merchandise in an easy and fast way, then check out the link below this video to a mini training that I have on merchandise sales that you might enjoy. And with that said, I hope to see you in the next video. Cheers.